This is your CBS 46 News update brought to you by West Shore Home. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. A new worry ahead of the Labor Day weekend. The growing number of coronavirus cases. The U.S. now has more than 6 million documented cases of COVID-19. Here in Georgia, there are more than 270,000 cases and more than 5,600 people have died. And some startling numbers from the university over at Georgia Tech as school officials remain transparent in reporting coronavirus cases. 158 students living in Greek housing have tested positive for the virus since August 20th. Additionally, 11 new student cases are being reported in the last 24 hours on campus at least five of those students live on campus. The school's reporting 716 cases just since March. A fight breaking out across local governments about who gets to spend COVID relief money from Uncle Sam. The mayors of cities in Fulton County delivering a public thrashing in a recent Zoom meeting and even threatening a lawsuit. The fight's over $104 million provided by the CARES Act. The mayors say cities are only getting 15 million of that money and they're angry at how Fulton County is spending its large share. $1.3 million allocated to Project Apollo. What is Project Apollo? Almost $300,000 spent for cars. We needed $300,000 worth of new cars for COVID. In unwillingness to talk to us uh, is, is astounding to me. And Rob, I hate to do this in a public meeting, but I got to lay it at your feet. The next meeting is set for Wednesday. A federal judge giving Georgia voters more time to vote by mail. This new ruling says ballots must be counted if they are postmarked by Election Day and delivered up to three days after. The previous deadline was the close of polls on Election Day. Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger will appeal the ruling by the federal judge. His office saying it makes the job of the counties as required by law nearly impossible. Governor Brian Kemp and First Lady Marty Kemp joining state officials in announcing the new Georgia Emergency Management Agency Director and the Chief of Staff. It is former Georgia State Patrol Captain Chris Stallings. As you can imagine, selecting Homer's replacement was a very tough decision for me. People of this level need grit and resolve and sometimes that is rare to find. Unfortunately, I did not have to look very far to find that person for this job. Once again, Chris Stallings is going to be replacing the current director, Homer Bryson, who is retiring. All right, let's get the latest on today's weather. Meteorologist Molly McCollum says get ready for what feels like triple digits. Oh yeah, this afternoon and really for the rest of the week, it's going to feel tropical outside. And speaking of the tropics, still extremely active. St uh, tropical Depression 15, that will stay out to sea in the Atlantic. But we have newly formed Tropical Storm Nana that's pushing towards Central America. Neither of those have an immediate threat to the United States. For us here in Georgia, it's the heat, it's the humidity. It will feel like close to 100 for the next three days and then some drier air starts to move in just in time for the holiday weekend, although it will still be in the 90s. That drier air is just going to make a difference on how it feels outside. Just a small chance of rain both Sunday and for the Labor Day holiday on Monday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News brought to you by West Shore Home, Atlanta's one day bath remodeler.